I hope that Beth Emmett is a, is a place that people want to give. I hope it's a community where people feel compelled to give. We invested because we can, and that it's important to me that people who can do. You have to support people and places and, and causes that you really believe in, and I really believe in Beth Emmett. There are people coming together to challenge each other in different ways. It takes a, 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 a particular kind of community where that can happen. We just want to see it uh, prosper. I think different people get different things from Beth Emmett, but for me, I get spiritual uh, nourishment that allows me to then go forward out into the community and express it in a way that helps to change the world. When I look at Beth Emmett, I think of it as one of the real tentpole institutions in our town. And every Wednesday afternoon, when the soup kitchen is going to be open, and I drive by there at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and I see the lines out there, mm -hmm. that makes me feel really good. And we really understand the role that Beth Emmett plays in social activism. Given the world that we're living in now, we have to stand up for Jews in this country, and uh, that's important to us too. Beth Emmett, for me, growing up, was an important place to plant the seeds of my Judaism, and Beth Emmett was a family. My participation at Beth Emmett has evolved, and it's continuing to evolve, and I think that this is just part of that. Giving money for the capital campaign for Beth Emmett feels less about tzedakah and more about maintaining something that is important to us. Um, it's a community that we experience. We have an autistic son. We walk in the door and it's a safe place for him and he'll see Butch. He's always there to say hello when we walk in the door. He's just a very sweet man who's an important part of the community. It's all a part of the storyline, so that's why it's important. Adapt it, not, not to lose the tradition, but to build on the tradition. Be able to have all that rich history and at the same time move forward in a, uh, a more modern and dynamic way. And it should reflect how much we care about our community. Bring the space in alignment with the values of the synagogue. It's an aging facility, and I want it to be revitalized. Modernize it, bring it up to date, make it more inviting for people. A, a space that brings people into Judaism and is a welcoming space, and is a space that makes people feel more holy. Making the old new. about Beth Emmett it is that we could grow together not just because we were kind and considerate to each other but because we challenged each other. What does giving from the heart feel like? So to give from my heart means to give with out reservation. Not necessarily just because you're asked but because you because um, you believe it's the right thing to do. Not for any reward, I think, giving to Beth Emmett for this kind of campaign and, and to ensure its future is the reward. It's opportune for us that this is a moment where we actually um, can, can give what we want to give. I think that there's plenty of families who work hard just to pay the dues. And then capital campaign, there's a lot of asks. My hope is that the capital campaign causes people to give a little bit more than they otherwise would collectively to all of the different ways that they're already giving to Beth Emma. Giving from the heart, but that's not just financially. Not everybody, you know, gives in the same way, but we all give in the way that we can. When you find something that really is meaningful to you, to us, then I guess that should be called giving from the heart.
What does the history mean to you? Yeah, I mean, I, when you asked me that question, I just got the chills. I feel like those black and white photos, um, that, that's what they represent for me, is that history of people finding their Judaism in different ways. It, it, to see the original starting point and the journey that it is uh, taken to get to here, that's rewarding. The capital campaign is critical to pushing Beth Emet forward. What do you imagine the future will look like here at Beth Emet? I mean, I want it to still exist. A strong heartbeat, <laughs> a vibrant heartbeat. People want to continue to make it better. And if we want it to be our place and survive, we need to be part of it. Looking back in 20 years, I hope that, you know, we, we see what the building is and are proud to have been part of it. And bring more life to the Judaism that we otherwise would experience on our own. That's worthwhile. That's worth giving. That's worth appreciating. That's worth uh, supporting. There were dozens and dozens of families before us who made a similar, if not greater, commitment. They laid the foundation for us. It's my turn to do the same things for, you know, our kids, to set the same example for our kids, our, our time to give back. Thank you.